Hello beautiful souls, there is great enthusiasm in your non-physical family of light, for the potential for divine embodiment is expanding. It is such a great pleasure to connect in this way. To know you and to participate in this amazing experience you are creating and drawing forth into form, which is, the leading edge of life on earth. We in the non-physical, we the Council of the Golden Dawn Temple, we the Angelic, we the Ascended Masters, we your friends in the non-physical, we love this collaboration with you. We are focused upon the perpetual unfolding of earth and we are invested in this in a profound and substantial way, even if we are not there with you in form, and so we wish to convey to you today, how powerful your choices are, how important your choices are, and how wonderful your freedom is. It is an amazing thing to be in a realm such as you find yourself and to have the capacity for freedom. Of course the use of this capacity can be impaired by many things. It is most important for you to know, that truly, no one else can limit your freedom. Your freedom is entirely within your sphere of focus, and as such within your creative control. And so knowing this, it is important to ask yourself, are you feeling free? Do you feel free to do, to experience, to create, to have, to know and participate in every moment of life that you want to experience that you sense you have the capacity to enjoy, that you desire to at least encounter? Are you giving yourself the freedom to create all this for yourself? Learning to love yourself, includes considering your freedom, for in an essence you are innately a free being. As such, any confinement of your freedom will bother you will impair your joy and will make you less fulfilled. Freedom is the state of being able to choose. To choose your focus and experience. Freedom is what opens you to love. Freedom is that which is available and in fact, used, in every moment of your experience. Some of you do not see your choices as free, but they are. In addition, because of ideas of right and wrong, or long-held beliefs, or prior religious experiences, or ideals of those close to you or even perhaps, the sense that some choices might make others close to you unhappy some things can and do impair your experience of your own freedom. When we share share with you about self-love you will notice how often we speak to you of fulfillment. There is a reason for this. Your fulfillment is essential, it is your fountain of joy. Your fulfillment comes from the fullness of your being flowing clearly, purely into your expression. This is made possible through your degree of alignment, and the fullest alignment is a state of self-appreciation, self-love. In a state of openness, of non-judgment in relationship to yourself, you empower your fulfillment. Otherwise you are filtering out experiences and most importantly energies that you perhaps might not feel you want to experience of you may not feel worthy of. And in this, you are then not fulfilled. The fullness of you, flows to you. Your direct connection to source comes to you, uninhibited, undistorted, unfiltered, unrestrained. And so it is for you to cultivate alignment, so you can receive more. This cultivation of self-love will let more of your pure essence energy, in. If you choose to cultivate your alignment and learn to allow more of your essence in, to learn and to cultivate your energy structure such that you can allow it more and more fully into your life, your field your awareness and into your experience, you in essence are to fulfill you. This is how you become fulfilled, you become fulfilled by the fullness of you giving to you all that you are, for all that you are is is fundamentally, perpetually, continually, expansively, limitlessly fulfilled. Enjoy. In a perpetual state of dynamic expanding appreciation, creativity, and joy. So it is for you to choose to allow this into your experience. And of course, as we have just considered, you may also choose to limit your freedom and thus limit these energies. And this is what has been happening for people on earth for a very long time. In believing that others humans, others in your life, others in the world held the keys, were the powerful ones controlled your life, needed to be pleased, adored, sacrificed for and made more important than you in any or some way, then you have turned your attention away from you and in doing so, 
set limits upon what you were open to receive. We are not judging these choices, we are merely explaining the impact of making such choices. For you again, are free to choose whatever experience you feel impulsed towards, and you can trust your impulses knowing that at a soul level you are being guided into these experiences that will create the greatest expansion for you. In this freedom and in all these choices, you have set standards for your life energetic trends, that act like standards. In these moments of living these beliefs as choices, as behaviors as moments of attentiveness to any and all things you have set standards for your life. You have in fact, created your life experience, yes, but even more important than that, for the experience is simply an outpicturing driven by the most important thing you create you create your energy field. Take a moment now and tune into your energy field. You do this like you do all things, just with intent, and focus. As you turn your attention to your energy field, you bring forth the knowing of this into your perceptual field. There are many ways you might feel and know about your energy field, every physicality is different in the way that it acknowledges and perceives energy. But the most important thing for our purposes at this time, and that we would like for you to consider this, do you like how your energy field feels? This is just an immediate sense of knowing when you turn your focus toward this. Do you like how it feels to be the you that you are allowing to come forth from all that you are? Ponder this and in using, this sensation-based approach, this feeling approach, you can also allow your mind to join the feelings of this with clear awareness. Do you like how your energy feels? What does it feel like? Are there words that suit how your energy feels? And if so, what are these words? Now we'd like you to turn your attention elsewhere. We'd like you to pause for a moment and consider this, what are the qualities of being that you love embodying most? What feelings sensations, emotions, states of being are your favorites? Is it peace? Is it enthusiasm? Is it inspiration? Is it playfulness? Is it awe? Is it bliss? Is it tenderness? Is it humor? What are the qualities of being that you love the most? Do you have favorites? Are you aware of what they are? How fluid are your states of being? How stable are they? Which do you prefer? You can think and feel more about this throughout the day because what we want you to begin considering today, is that you are free to create the quality of your state of being. You are free to conjure up the quality of being that you prefer. If you choose to claim your freedom the fullness of you can provide you with the energetic resources to create an abundance, any quality of being you wish to experience. You must open to receive, cultivate alignment, and thus allow yourself to be gifted with what you choose to create and you must take the time to consciously choose the quality by focusing on it, beginning to feel it and letting the fullness of your being fulfill you. This is living your freedom for the purpose of joy. Recently we've asked you to consider do you choose to be happy? Check in with yourselves about this. Do you honor your wants and your needs and your desires, genuinely, as inspiration from your essence and make them your priority? Can you honestly say that you make your own happiness the priority moment to moment when you choose? How would you live differently if you gave yourself permission to use your awareness, to make your happiness the number one priority? If you cared most about being happy, how would you choose to perceive situations and events? Yourself? What self-talk? What stories? What would be the lens of perception you would use to empower yourself to feel more happy? More free? If you are someone who truly makes their own happiness, their joy, the way they orient in life, then today, we are going further by reminding you that feeling free is essential to your joy. So if you choose to be happy, you must consider your state of freedom. Because it is your nature to be free. You will find that there are fundamentals to your nature because there are fundamentals of all life. And as you do discover this and then embrace it as self-understanding, as your true identity of being, your self-love cannot help but expand and your life will again, open up to the fulfillment that you know perpetually in the non-physical. 
So today, I invite you to play with your freedom and use the energy of your focus, the alchemy of bringing focus together in your field with intent with specific information for how you wish the energy you are to be configured, to be focused. Doing this, you are informing, making form out of the energy as you focus with intent. In this, you can create your state of being, your state of presence, your state of awareness. This is playing with your creator godness and it is the most fun ever. You will love it. And the more you do it, the more confident you will become in creating this way and then you can create all kinds of material things this way too. For all material things that you imagine that you want, have an essence to them in your experience, in your relationship to experiencing this material manifestation. So you make an immediate connection with that quality of life and energy and that life and the energy of that quality will come into connection with you. There is no way to stop it, in fact, because it is how energy works. So in your world, one's freedom begins to really fly high when one begins to realize one can claim it. Lastly, we'd like to encourage you to empower yourself with the knowing of our oneness. For it is the knowing of our oneness that gives you the full confidence to trust that what's good for you is good for everything and everyone. In doing that, embracing that idea, we'd like to encourage you to make a commitment to yourself to discovering and living the freedom that is your ultimate universal state of being, and then to, by intent, radiating that wholeness, extending the potential of that presence, to everyone and everything you encounter. Enjoy creating your experiences today. But even more importantly, realize that your experiences arise from the quality of your state of being, and turn to the root of what creates everything and take time to focus on the way you wish to be present. Be generous and friendly to you in creating. Create the states of being that you really want not what you think you should want, not what other people want you to feel like, not what you think you ought to do, or what's good or right or better or spiritual or holy or pure or ascension related. Follow your desire which speaks from your heart and discover what gives you joy. Discover what gives you joy. This is your courtship with you. I am Archangel Michael.